Hello everyone from the Lexio Divina family and all of you listening. This is Father Pat, priest from St. Mary on the Quay in Bristol, UK, praying with you all on this last day of the Novena in honor of the Nativity of our Blessed Mother Mary. Tomorrow, 8th of September, we will celebrate the birthday of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us adore her Son, Christ the Lord. We will pray and offer to her all our intentions, and at the very end I will bless all of you who are listening. So, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us all begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mediatrix between God and mankind, admirable Mary, by your birth you perfected the joy of all the children of Adam, who, through you, have received the altar of grace, for he has made you the treasure of all the graces which are imparted to us. May your birth be a special cause of joy to our souls by obtaining for us from God eternal salvation and all the graces necessary to obtain it. Dearest Mother, please pray for the following petitions. For the Alexio Divina family and all its 119 members, especially for Alice's family, for Linda Fast Healing, for Lindsay's family, so that they may raise their daughter from God's guidance, for patience and to look to God during all positive and challenging times. For Veronica in her in the journey of finding a husband, the healing and conversions of Teresa and David's family. For Lee as she was is writing a new chapter in her life in Slovenia. For Augusto and the building of his church in Spain, for encouraging God more personally in our lives, for those who are alone in hospital or at home during this difficult time, for Teresa's next steps in her job, for all those seeking the divine help and guidance as they look for suitable employment, for Meg, who is struggling to care for her three children, and for Meg, who may have to have a leg amputated for all the victims around the world suffering, for David's father in hospital, and for all who are confused or anxious, for the persecuted, for those unjustly imprisoned, those who suffer for trying to live with integrity, for those who misuse power, for migrants arriving to the EU coast, for families who are struggling so that they may be granted peace, good health, and patience to endure difficult times, for the gift of prayer poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit at baptism, May it grow ever greater for the end uh, to the COVID-19 pandemic. For pray, we pray for our clergy, for Stuart Ford, seminarian in the Clifton Diocese, for Robert and his proceeding towards ordination as deacon, and for all seminarians that they may listen to the voice of the Lord and follow it with courage and joy. For me, a humble servant of your 
bless, beloved son, for Father John OCD, for Father Valens, priest from Kiliagli in Rwanda, and for Alex de Palus, priest from the St. Vincent Parish in San Diego, including our Bishop Declan and our Holy Father Pope Francis. I invite you now to add your own petitions, confident that God will hear and answer as he sees best in each case. And we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Your nativity, O Virgin Mother of God, was the herald of joy to the whole world since from you arose the Son of Justice, Christ our God, who, destroying the curse, bestowed the blessing, and, confounding death, rewarded us with life everlasting. Let us celebrate with joy the birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that she may intercede for us with our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Grant to us, your servants, we beseech you, O Lord, the gift of your heavenly grace, that as our salvation was begun in the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin, so from this solemn festival of her nativity may we obtain an increase of peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. O Blessed Mother Mary, pray for us. O Blessed Mother Mary, Pray, pray for us. us. O Blessed Mother Mary, pray, pray for us. us. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray, pray for, for us, us who have recourse, recourse to, thee. to thee. Amen. Now I would like to impart upon you uh, my blessing. Holy Triune God, the Father is the Creator, the Son is the Redeemer, the Holy Spirit is the Sanctifier. I call upon your blessing upon all the members of the Lexio Divina, and all those people whom we have brought before you in their intentions. The grace of God at work with our human nature, your plan for our salvation, may continue to prevail. Drive the evil spirit and the evil one far, far away from us, for Mary crushed the head of the serpent, and through the birth of her son we are liberated and set free to share now in the life of God life eternal, in the joy of God, eternal joy and happiness, and to be life givers for others. Let us be life givers, showing God's presence within us and in the world in which we live in today. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all, all of you, from wherever you are, in having joined us for this novena in honor of the nativity of our Blessed Mother Mary. May she intercede for all that we asked for. I also want to thank all of you, dear Lexio Divina family members and friends, who daily pray for me through the Daily Love podcast and ensure you of my prayer for you all. Keep spreading the word of God. It is indeed by exploring daily the word of Christ that we root ourselves in him, deepen our relationship with him, and see his presence in our daily life. May our loving God bless you all abundantly.